Lena Fox is wrestling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being on this crazy voyage with me, knowing that our journey is really taking us to different places that, you know, we don't remember or we probably even not even seen before. But it's just a great blessing for us to be able to be on this road to self-discovery and knowing that we will never give up on the things we truly want to aim, at, aim, aim up to in life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and you towards positive direction also um if you are uh you know, if you found the videos to have good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark times right now, and um, they're trying to find their sole purpose or even, you know, their their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to meditation song meditation music I'm listening to is called astral travel music astral projection meditation out of body experience theta by Mario beats and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Ocas, pray for the ones that treat you wrong and continue to to be kind and then see what happens in return lord I know this might be a sensitive subject and I probably know there's some daggone haters probably watching these videos right now you know, and it is, it's crazy how we can go through this life and go through some ups and downs. And it's just with us being in past as well enough alone. And being a hey Oka, you constantly get tried. And especially with you being that hey Oka, that constantly have people come out to you and spill out their insecurities. Like I've had people attack me on Facebook. I've had, well actually not on Facebook, but here on YouTube. And I mean, sometimes it could be on my video and sometimes it's not. And I'm just like, what is the real deal? It's like, if I say one thing, but there's other people that said it just like me, except worded it different. You don't say nothing to them. You want to attack me. And I said, you know, what? you got to pray for folks like that. Even in the ones where you're in like toxic situations, you could be at a job. I've been at jobs where, you know, my so-called best friend, that I've known for like four or five years, you know, helped me get a job there. And then it was just like, I was younger than her. It was like about what? It was like 15, 15 to 16 years difference. But, you know, you couldn't really tell by her age. She was like, you know, I was like in my, what was it? Probably about 34, 35. And she was close to 50, but she didn't look her age. Well, after a while, she started looking her age because I started seeing her face shift and I ain't like that. But, uh, you know, in the next, you know, we start working together and all that stuff. And I'm that type of person where my energy is like, it's not like to get any, any attention. It's just for me being my, what my personality is. It, I start having a lot of attention, but it's not like the attention like, oh, I want this man. I don't want that man. Because it was crazy because everybody we worked with was majority of men. And they were like, oh, retired military type. And it was like... She turned everybody against me when she knows she couldn't, you know, control me or whatever because it was like she was stealing stuff from me. And when she came to my house, it was just like really messed up, Cause especially if I'm that type of person. I'll let you, you know, if I have it, you got to, you know, but you would then take, you know, and that was like, oh, no, you can't come to my house no more. And after, after that, all of a sudden, you know, she had everybody stop talking to me or I was the crazy chick because it was like she knew about things about me where I can talk to the dead. Um, I had the sixth sense. So she tried to tell people I was crazy. On top of that, she knew how I felt about that. You know, because my you know, my dad used to say I had a mental illness. So she was running around telling people that, oh, she tried to kill herself and this and this and this. Now I'm like, wow. And then it's not even, and that was like back in 2015. Not even, well, it was like about two weeks ago. 
I had one of my old co-workers that came back and told me, oh, you know, such and such don't work there at the job no more. They didn't call her back. I was like, oh. Mm. Okay. That's why I said, because I prayed hard for her because I knew I was, you know, it was like a lot of things she taught me. But there was more things I taught her because she was like, you would have never thought. She was that one I was telling y'all about that never thought I could have re really went through the things that I went through because I was always that person who was so lively and joking and all the time and acting silly, acting stupid and all that. And I always had people like crying, laughing, you know, they're like, Rosalind, you get away from me. And then when I finally tell her the things that I went through in life, it was like a shocker to her because you would have never knew just by how I carried myself. Or it's just like with my situations or whatever, with it, dealing with my, you know, people I'm dealing with. It's just like, I can't sit up here and keep telling God, you know, there's a lot of times, you know, before I actually came to the realization of, you know, basically trying to heal on every way possible you know people that you know try to tell people I, oh, I was mentally ill because of who I said my father is I was like dude I ain't got time for that <laughs> I really don't have time for it if you're a true empath and you ain't up on that sneak you know trifling stuff you know I'm not sitting up here lying to you about anything you know there's some of them that have said you know they even had their channel and talked about me a few times and I thought that was kind of funny you know I'm just like oh okay you oh well there's somebody that's trying to say that they're you know they're there are twin flames with such and such and I'm just like you know what hey you do your 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 channel on serving your BS and I'll be on mine speaking my truth so, you know, doing what I had to do, you have to just pray for folks like that because it's just like, if you, I know you probably seen that, them posts, it's just like, don't, you know, when you're being kind to people that, you know, you got to kill them with kindness sometimes and still pray for them. You know, my mom was one, she was from New York, my adopted mother, she was from New York, but she was raised in the South and she always used to say, pray, pray for people like that. The things is done in the dark, eventually come in the light. And it's just like those type of people. You ain't got to keep telling people how wrong they're doing. It's going to be that time that they're going to mess up and then show themselves for who they truly are. And it's just like that happens. It's just like when people try to judge you. I even had this in my journey currently. Recently, you know, telling you know, people tell me, oh, you need to let go of this or it's not that serious or whatever. You'd be amazed. When people start telling you stuff like that, like, oh, you know, that ain't nothing you went through or whatever, because they don't like the fact of what you experienced or you're you're getting over the things that, you know, has tragically happened to you. You'll be amazed how people sit up here and the things that they wish on you, God will flip that mess over so quick and allow them to know exactly how you feel. And I've seen a post like that. I said, I stop judging when God can slip up and make me go through the same things that people judge you for. And you know, and, and it's really true. So if you're dealing with narcissistic people right now, and I mean, it hurts like hell because you feel like, why isn't the universe doing something to them? Because if I stand up for myself and I start clapping back, next thing you know, I start catching it. Be kind. <laughs> if your enemy is hungry, feed them okay feed them do not come out of character for nobody and sometimes it's hard to do that because them folks usually do you know trying to yank your chain just to see if you're gonna be that one that barks allow them to yank that chain you just yank it back and just keep it moving or just don't even give them a response you just pray for them folks because i'll be dead almost everybody i remember one girl called me a bastard and she knew when she found out who my dad was because she thought i was lying it just so happened to be right at my house when my stepmom was calling <laughs> when my stepmom was calling trying to make a lie up to see if i was going to go to minnesota next thing you know you call me all type of bastards next thing you know my ex-co-worker not even a year later done told me her father passed away and i said you know what i'm so i feel so bad for her and her family she's like rosalyn you gonna call no no i was that bastard i'm still be that bastard over here well, I'm grieving over my daddy, and now you're grieving off of yours. You'd be amazed how people get through stuff. And it's just like with you being who you are, you're a gift from God. You are a gift from God, and I promise you, you go through a lot of things. You go through a lot of things, especially on this journey. I know it's hellish, especially when you got to deal with, you know, if you're in a toxic relationship, trying to get up out of it. You know, I've seen people in toxic relationships, and, you know, things weren't even touched. 
Like, you know, they, they'll they try to get a restraining order. Restraining order won't, don't work. They, you know, cops, cops constantly call. That don't work. I said, obviously, there is a karmic circle that you're dealing with that... I mean, karmic circle, karmic cycle that you're dealing with, that you're going to have to let go of something or see what it is or don't allow that situation to control you for you to get out of it. That's the only way that's going to happen. And I'll be dead. And it's just like, I'm telling you, it might not, when people do stuff to you and they prey upon you to make you wish that you didn't have nothing, people fail to realize. Even when they pray for you, pray, you know, they pray against you on stuff like that. Well, I hope they don't get this. I mean, I've had somebody pray and hope that I didn't get a good paying job to make sure I can get away from my, my, my issue. Next thing you know, boom, <laughs> you, I mean, you got to be careful what you pray for. Now it's just like, I'm sitting here and now you got to do everything on your own. So, you know, when you, that's what it, it's like, you have to constantly do what you can do. It's just like, you know, you know, you're doing good. You're trying to do the best that you can you know, but you're trying to get out of a situation and universe allowing you to say, just keep doing what you're doing. This is in God's work. And you'll get those visions. You'll hear those little voices in your head tell you, we know. I hear my mom going off all the time. Like, oh, you ain't, don't, don't even worry about it. We already see what's in the making. It's already in turning. And you have to understand when you're doing God's work and he's allowing you to do the things that you need to do when you got these narcissistic a-holes in your life that keep coming on your track trying to knock you off of focus, keep praying for them. And if you can't be kind to them, don't say nothing to them at all. Don't even allow them to know that they're even, you know, they even affect your daggone line of walk. When you can keep going and keep doing what you need to do, I guarantee you, you keep being kind and then God's going to bless you enough to where they going your enemy's going to be your footstool. I guarantee you. I've heard that a lot. Your enemy will be your footstool. And then God was going to end up blessing you right in front of the people that brought you down. Like Nicki Minaj says, she, she just reflect on them. And those are the type of people they, they, they will be feeling bad after all the pain they wished you. And they'd be mad because they can't hang with you like they did before when you all up in here and you shine. So you keep doing what you need to do. Keep working on yourself. Do not lose focus on what you're aiming for. Because I know there's a lot of y'all that are dealing with some narcissistic folks like I got to deal with mine as well. You know, you can be kind to people. Everybody has their own flaws. Everybody has their things that they're still working on. I even tell myself, I'm a work in progress. I'm that type of person that, you know, if you, you jump my boundaries, I, I have no problem with just cutting you off. You know, especially if I have to tell you about two or three times, I don't like being that way. But it's just the fact is, you you know, I used to allow people to do that and keep giving them chances and chances and chances. And when you more chances you tend to give people, the less respect they got for you because they already know. They're, they're already going to, you know, hear you saying, oh, I'll forgive you. That's when you need to cut stuff off. If you going, people go over your boundaries, not paying attention to you, and they don't respect your, you know, your time to yourself or your time at certain things. You already done told them the first time, if they keep forgetting, it ain't your fault. <laughs> Just cut them out your life. But allow things to happen where they're supposed to happen. Don't try to control the situation. Allow things to flow like it was, like I told y'all the other day. Don't, don't, don't. Don't block your blessings by trying to get back at folks because it's like it's already up and, you know, it's already wrapped up in karma's will for things to pop off. You have to just sit back and watch and wait. So I will see you on my next video. Drop me a line. Let me know if you're going through some stuff like this right now. It would, be, you know, greatly be appreciated. Um, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Share. And, you know, give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Eleanor Carter, uh, Daquan Bradley, and Mimi. Much, much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. Y'all, you know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be watching.